Hey, Wizards, guess what? It's Kieran Trocaller. I'm back. And guess what? Yes, I'm talking to some Bailstrom. And guess what? I've hit the level where we get a new minion. So like I said, we're doing all the unique quests for myths. So we're going to take a little break from the Jum Jungle really quick. And we are going to get this quest from House Tom. He says he came across Compendium Minions. Oh, awesome. And so let's look up our specialization. Asanji myth. Goodness me, that's a powerful minion to entrust to a the Sanji Lore Singer. I've never seen this one. Okay. I have a good friend called the Professor. He travels all the spiral, but you can find him by his telegraph box in Malibu. Let's do this, guys. And ask him to teach you the summoning ritual for your new minion, the Sanji Law Singer, the Elephant Soldier. Fantastic. I have not ever, I've never had my myth get this high where I'm going to get this particular spell. So this is brand new stuff for me. Okay, now hopefully, hopefully we're going to be able to get to, um, get to the location where we can actually get this guy yeah see part of the part of the problem with doing um doing these quests is i don't know if you guys know this but i just hit level 75 and so level 75 is awesome but that that puts me almost 10 levels ahead of where i would normally be if i was just doing regular questing so um let's go ahead and talk to the professor which i think is um uh, wow can't believe I got stuck there. Okay. There's the professor right there. And he's going to help us with this quest. Obviously, we're going to have to go somewhere. Why, hello there. Uh-huh. Hmm, I wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me guess. Yes, you yes. You a new minion, right? Uh, tell me about it. stitch of your clothes, I'll hazard you are a conjurer. Yes, no? yes. Wait, have I deduced this all before? I don't Travel know. Travel to Crab Alley and find King Thermidor. Get his permission to search the Tower of Peladon. Tower of Peladon. You'll have to fight whatever has moved into that dank place for the Conjuring Globe of Peladon. Bring it back to me. Okay, we gotta get this Conjuring Globe of Peladon, which I have done this quest before with some of my other wizards, um, as I recall. Now, let's see here. We have to go to do this. Now, the good news is, is our guy that we're trying to get is Zafarian. So hopefully, we will not have to go to... Avalon, yeah. We hopefully we won't have to go to Avalon to get our minion. Now, of course, it just kind of depends. Okay, that's just it just kind of depends where you might have to go. Like my ice guy, oh gosh, he had to go to Azteca to get his minion, as I recall. My um, my balance guy had to get didn't wasn't able to get his until Avalon, but my storm guy got his in Safaria. So, you know, there's some there. The, there's a possibility this is going to be okay. Not sure yet exactly whether it's going to work in our favor or not. But, you know, I'm pretty excited about this because this is one spell I have not picked up as a myth, as a myth wizard. You know, so this is pretty, pretty exciting for me because I have not taken my myth wizard past. Um, well, that's kind of awkward. Maybe I should have just gone the other way. Anyways, I've never had my Myth Wizard pass Safaria. So this is the first time I've gotten one of my Myth Wizards pass. Now, I've maxed my Myth Wizard out before my old one. But at the same time, I maxed him when the max level was like level 60 and then level 70. But I've never really gotten my Myth Guy past that. So this is all brand new experience for me. So I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, let's go talk to Keem Thermidor. Wow, this is kind of funny how this mount, you know, moves along here. Yeah, it's like flopping around. Yeah, and probably not the best underwater mount, right? Right? There's King Thermidor. Let's talk to our buddy. We welcome you back to Crab Ah, yes, yes. Dearest, oh, he doesn't even remember wizard. me. Uh, of course. Okay, we will so. never forget what you did. No. What can you okay, I need to get the Tower of Peladon. <laughs> and Forsaken, I bet. Okay. Forbidden. So what I need to do? We'll lift the band. Very Go good. Forth, plucky wizard, into the Tower of Peladon very nice, very nice. That which you well, very good. He gave me the key. Now we just have to get to the Tower of the Peladon. Okay. Now, depending on where we have to summon this new minion, we'll whoa. find the Globe of Peladon. Is it up here? Really? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done this quest. So let's see here. Zippity doo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't, don't remember there being a tower in here, but you know, I mean, um, 
I guess we'll see, right, right? Looks like we're going all, all the way over in here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go. Okay, we don't go into the cave. Is this the Tower of Peladon? I just don't remember this at all. Uh, I guess it is. The sea will flow into your nose and mouth and swallow you whole. The salt and black take you forever. Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy down. <laughs> get us. Now, this is a similar quest, I believe. I know for ice you get this. And I think I got. I had to do it for my other wizard, too. So it's been a while since I've done this quest. I'll be honest with you. But it is one that you do for this level 75 minion. And I'll tell you what, these level 75 minions are some of the best minions. Or should I say, for all my other wizards I've gotten it for, they've been pretty awesome minions. Like Magobu the, for my storm guy. That guy was like, the, was like rock solid in helping me um, win lots of different fights. So he was definitely a really great minion to have around. Um, and I'll tell you what, Talos is an okay minion, but I don't know if he's he's any if he's better than. Whew, I hate wall bolts. Um, I don't know if he's any better than this new one. Okay, um, and honestly, Talos I've never been really super impressed with, anyways. So I'm kind of excited to see what the myth minion is going to be like. Now, obviously, he's going to be elephant. Or at least that's what we figured out now. He's going to be an elephant. And I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't had an elephant minion at all. Now, the storm one was fire, and that guy was pretty awesome, I thought. So let's go ahead and take these guys down. Get um, the orb. You don't see the globe of Peladon. Uh, okay. you should explore deeper into the tower. Of course I should. Let's, let's go deeper into the tower. Okay. So who do we have here in the uh, next this room? Spy of a uh, I remember this guy. Right. Of course, that's what any good spy uh -huh. would say. Whether you are a spy, spy or not, not I'll, just, I'll pay for disrupting pay you. For disrupting my plans. Well, let's go ahead and um, pay for disrupting his plans. Okay, Cavendish Newcastle. Uh, they're, they're, play, they're making a play on Cromwell and his stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know who Cromwell was, but Cromwell... Um, who they named the other guy. He's actually a guy in British history, and he had to deal with this Cavendish, with a guy named Cavendish, and I, I think that's what they're playing off of. That's one of the most awesome things about Wizard 101 is all the tongue-in-cheek stuff. They take it from literature, they take it from history, they take it from pop culture, and, they, oh, and they're always dropping all these characters, and um, it, I don't know, it makes it fun to, fun to realize where they pulled that character out of history or pop culture or literature, and I think that makes it a ton of fun makes it even more fun to play the game for me for me at least yeah makes it a ton of fun for me to play the game we're going to go ahead and get this faint on because that's going to help us defeat him a little bit quicker oh yeah you know and i'll tell you what i mean we are for this particular quest we are actually on level which is kind of interesting because it's really not that hard of a quest to be on level so i think it was just one that they want us to get through i think the hardest part will be do we have access for the final summoning you know like for like i said you know some of these guys you can't summon them unless you're in avalon so i'm kind of hoping that that won't be the case here because i definitely don't want to have to wait till avalon before we can summon this guy and like i said in the case of um or uh, no maybe my ice didn't have to go all the way to azteca I, I think I felt like he did, but maybe he didn't, you know, because my ice is only in Avalon. So I guess maybe my ice had to do it in Avalon. That could be right. I don't know. I haven't played my ice in years. He's like my oldest wizard, and he's still sitting in Avalon because I just haven't had the time to go back and level him up. He's on my list after I get my storm wizard all leveled up to go back and do him. There we go. One globe of Peladon. globe of Peladon thrums powerfully. Now, the professor, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a show called Doctor Who, but that's where the professor comes from. So the professor guy, he comes from a uh, fantastic, the longest running sci-fi television series ever called Doctor Who. It's a British sci-fi series, so it has a little bit of um, that going for it. Um, but that's it's one of the coolest ones ever and I've been watching that for a long time And so the professor is kind of like the um, The wizard 101 version of that guy and the spirit peladon that is actually a reference to one of the 
one of the coolest um, series done in Doctor Who history, um, or should I say, uh, many many series, or should I say, sequences? You know, um, because there is this, uh, yeah, there's this Peladon. I, I can't remember if it was a Globe of Peladon or something like that, but it's another reference back to that classic TV show. Ah, I see you have been busy. Oh Let's yeah, check it out. The conjuring Globe of yes, Peladon. yes, yes. Teach Very me the ritual. Dangerous. Head to Zafaria and yes. find Tillamon Copperleaf in the Baobab Library. Ask him where to find the Casbah of Zanj. Very good. I mixed it up with the Casbah's guardians once. Barely got out with my skin, I think. Fantastic. Casbah's guardians, so you can perform the summoning ritual using the globe of Peladon. That's what we're going to do. Luck, eh? Let me know how it goes. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run over to Killman Copperleaf. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, here we are at the library, and let's ask Killman Copperleaf where we can find this guy. Jumbo, young wizard. What brings you back yes. to the Yes, of Zanj. You will find that cursed tower in Stone Town. It fell to the warlord Varos, a cold-blooded gorilla. Okay. I have a scroll that will unlock the Casbah of Zanj. The, the rest, rest is up is to me. Hidden. Very good. Nice. Well, that's where we're going to go. So, find Globe of Peladon Pestal in Stone Town. So, let's go to the crossroads. Because the crossroads will give us the Stone Town portal. Which should be like right over here. Very good. And fantastic, guys. Check it out. We're going to get ourselves a new minion. Cannot wait. And we'll definitely use this guy. Here we go. Yes, I think I've been here not before. This, not that, but we stand in the in between, wizard. We ah, this guy looks cool. Who will we be after? Let's double check our deck and let's go ahead and throw in just for safeties a couple myth prisms. And actually, um, let's keep this easy. Let's go ahead and throw in my favorite single boss thing. Yep, some ninja picks. Very, very good. If necessary. Actually, I probably won't even need the ninja picks. Okay, Bazange Lord Singer. I didn't see his minion there. Okay, not a problem. Well, we can take them both down. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Is this even a fight? Okay. Never mind. Why did I go through all that effort? Right? We'll put one on Visanji. Okay. But, man, he's going to be our guy here. Already liking his animation. Very cool. I love how he threw both swords up there and did the wrap. Okay, we'll take care of, we'll take care of this black... Tusk cultist looking guy over here. Yeah, some shaman, right? Simum shaman? The Simum shaman. Very, very good. Okay, this will, this will be like, you know, uh, easy peasy. Very nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, so that's the guy we're going to get to summon. This is going to be awesome. Having a new myth minion who can rock and roll with us. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. And I'll tell you what, I, I've been pretty impressed with all of the different... Um, level 75 minions that you can get. You know, I, I mean, I think they've all been pretty impressive so far. I've only gotten like three of them, but I've liked all three of them. I'll tell you what, the balance one, definitely super helpful. And the um, one for um, Storm, loved it, loved it, loved it. I haven't played with the Ice one a whole lot, but the other two have been absolutely rock solid. Rock star minions, I'll tell you what. Okay, so let's see here. Very good. Very nice. And his buddy's down too. Okay. So the warlord Varus. You will need strength of spell and speed of uh -huh. mind. Good luck, wizard. Oh, I still have one more fight to do, right? Yeah, I gotta defeat the warlord. You see it is folly to challenge a wizard. Tomorrow prudence shall be our watchword. Today I shall soak the land in blood. Wow, this guy's happy. Okay. Well, Warlord Varus. Let's go ahead and do this thing then. Okay, Ninja Pigs, I think will be a good thing to have in our deck now, okay? Let's go ahead and prep this. Oh, only 5,000? Not a problem. Not a problem at all to a Myth Wizard. Okay, let's hope he doesn't get lucky with that. I hate those things. Insane Bolts, ooh. 
you know, most of the time, that's exactly what you're going to get out of an insane bolt. But uh, I, I, I've never really felt all that comfortable with those things flying around like they are now with these storm guys. Always want to use insane bolts. I'd rather take a hit from, yeah, I'd rather take a hit from a Kraken than those insane bolts coming at me every round. Ooh, okay. It's not a problem. We're about to lay this guy low, right? Absolutely. Oh, look, my ninja pig, he just wants to get up. Let's put one more blade up to absolutely make sure that this is gonna be finished here this round. Well, it looks like we're doing pretty good too because we're not missing that 2% um, damage that I would normally have as well with my other mount too. So it's been good times. Okay, ninja pigs, make him, make him weep. Make him weep, you know because he's trying to make like the jungles run red with blood or something like that. This guy is kind of creepy. Okay, that's okay. I, I, I pull out the big guns for you there. Very, very nice. I love me some ninja pigs. I haven't propped these guys out in a long time. Tell you what guys, this is just a reminder. Get yourself some ninja pigs if you are, did you see that? 11,000, 11, 11, okay. Yeah. You've earned this conjuring globe of Peladon. Thank you, sir. And uh, let me go ahead and put it there. You place the conjuring globe of ah, Peladon yes. on the pedestal. What's and happening? Perform a summoning ritual. Something it. You have defeated Warlord Varus. Ah, and yes. His secrets. Very I good. I would be honored to assist you whenever the need arises. And very good, guys. There we go. We have gotten ourselves a new minion. We just have one. We just have to go talk to the professor. So let's go ahead and head back to Marleybone and let's finish off this quest right here. Fantastic. Isn't that cool, guys? Absolutely loving it. For sure, loving it. Okay, so let's zip down, zip down here. And we will be over there at the professor's place in no time at all. Oh, yeah. Ah, the professor. Very, very nice. Okay, let's talk to him. Worlds come and go. Stars ah, perish. Matter disperses. disperses. Forms into other patterns. Sorry, I was thinking of someone else. Did you free Vasanji Law Singer from yes, the I did. Warlord Varro? Let me show you the spell to summon Vasanji. It requires tact and finesse. Fortunately, <laughs> Bless with both. Very good. Spellcraft makes me hungry. Here, have a jelly baby. Thank you. And there we go. We can now summon Vasanji. He's six pips. Wow. You know what? I, 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 is that a little surprising to me that he's so many pips? Yeah, it is. It's a little surprising to me, but I think I understand. Yeah, I think, I think I get it. I think I get it, but um, we're going to keep him in our deck. We might use him, might not. It's kind of a high pip summon. It just totally depends on the fight. But you know what? We do have some fights coming up that might be necessary. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back to the drum jungle. Bring it back in in a minute. Okay, guys, we were back in the drum jungle, and we got to defeat some gorilla spider witches. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and pick these guys up right here. And I don't think we're going to summon Vassange for any of this mess right here. So let's go ahead and let's just prep everything so we can take these ladies down. Okay, guys, so let's just catch up where we are at. We did a, we got our new myth minion, Vasanji, and I'm pretty cool, pretty happy about that. I cannot wait to use him. Now, he's a six pipper, though. I think that's because we're myth. See, we've already had several minions, and we already had a five pip minion. That's his name is Talos, and I think that's one of the reasons why Vasanji is a six pip minion. Like, if you go check out the storm, the ice, and the other, and the, um, and the balance one, I think probably the other one's two those are all five pip minions but it looks like ours at this level is a six pip minion which i totally understand because i get it. i guess i get it i you know it's like you know nothing to be upset about or anything sometimes that's just the way the game works yes just sometimes that's the way the game works but that's okay it shouldn't be a problem at all because we got everything happening right now. Okay, so we got to take out a couple of these ladies so that we can go ahead and get some more information because we are trying to get to the elephant graveyard before it's too late. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Vasanji. Vasanji. 
yeah, we're definitely going to use him. But I, I, I don't see using him yet, but I do see use him in the future, for sure, for sure. Also, you know what? We need to go ahead and do some more Animus um, collecting. That way we can get a few more minion cards ready to go because we're getting ready to do some fights that could be quite perilous and quite dangerous. So that is something to keep in mind as well. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Now hopefully they give us what we need the this first time. This drops a strange metal tool. This must be the cosmic caliper that Inyanga told you about. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I picked up another spell. I picked up an Inyaga, uh, Inyaga White Stripes side quest. That's what that is. We have not finished the we have not finished the quest that um that Coco has given us yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. Well. Now nope, let's just go ahead and do this right. We're going to need the extra pips anyways. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. Okay, so, and yes, like that, boom. We get, we get a little Vorthrust in the head. Very, very good, guys. Awesome. Okay, so, ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now let's go ahead and strike back. And let's take down the Gorilla Spider Witches. Well, here in a minute. We'll go ahead and throw some traps on them. Yeah, they were throwing some big spells at me, weren't they? Well, it happens, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, there we go. We got some Orthrus. Very, very good. I thought I saw something just appear over there. Oh, well. Might have just been a spider witch. Creepy looking. Creepy looking. Yeah, so they threw in with Morganth. Well, that's not good. We got we to shut Morganth down. Yep, definitely got to shut Morganth down. Okay. Now, the second arc is the longest arc of the game. I mean, the first arc, it does have five worlds, and the second arc has five worlds, but the second arc has much longer worlds and more of a story to tell. I think some of the best storytelling was done in the second arc, especially when we hit some of the other worlds. You'll see it as we do hit them because it's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. You know, um, all the different stories that they that they tell us throughout the thing. Like right now, Zafari. I think it's a I think it's a fun thing because it's like it's it's getting us involved in Morgan's current thing. And um, honestly, you know, some people say that Zafari is kind of like a throwaway world, and I would have to disagree with them. I think Zafari is a key world to show us what Morganth is really after and just how dangerous she is because she is like gathering up all of these objects that could definitely. Um, put us all in quite a bit of danger versus like Avalon honestly Avalon she she doesn't go in Avalon you know what we end up doing in Avalon is we end up writing a whole bunch of wrongs that she left behind because she was getting revenge on King Arthur and the court there so um, so basically I think if there was a world that in the second arc that would be a throwaway world honestly I think Avalon is probably that world I and mean, there's lots of cool things about Avalon but I happen to disagree I think Safari is a really good world and I don't think by far it is it is the throwaway world I think the storyline they have in here even though you are running around helping students the main storyline which is defeating Morganth and trying to stop her from getting these these um, items of power I think that's more important and that actually leads into what the full second arc is all about you know the first world Celestia is giving us an idea of just how dangerous Morganth is yes I know something of that okay let's go the rarefied Sun school held a special place in Zafaria yes yes as Morgant's servants crept ah. back into the oh, world oh you know what this isn't even the main quest traces of it to enhance her power there is a remaining relic of the sun school yes yes the sun obelisk that yes i stands. saw it however the black tusk cultists okay so if we get a chance to fight them we'll the do that as pieces. well if you can bring them back to me i can fix it Okay, guys, so since, since this is an episode of doing some side quests, we're going to go ahead and do this one side quest because I want to show you how important getting this obelisk working is. So we're going to go ahead and fight some black 
Tusk cultists. And we're going to get this obelisk working as the last part of this episode. Because I, I do find this to be a pretty important um, uh, spell to pick up. Okay, um, and, and obviously since we're talking myth, you know, we're, I want to show you the important things to pick up. Like I showed you where to get Berserk, which is a cool spell, and we've definitely had some chances to use it, which gives us extra benefit to our spell casting. And I think we need to go ahead and also explore, um, you know, we, we want to get this other enchant. And so I'm pretty excited to do this. So let's go ahead and knock out these black tusk cultists and see if we can get what we need from coco so we can go ahead and restore that thing and that might be the last thing we get done let's see let's see if we have more time for anything else okay i think it's my turn to cast right there we go there we go you know okay let's go ahead and finish them up with a frog two blades and a frog yeah these guys are done for well if if we get a chance here you know. hopefully we'll get it in the first in the first um fight right guys that's the tough thing about the defeat and collects is you know sometimes it'll take a take a fight or two to get it but let's cross our fingers we might get it here in the first one and i'm very happy to go ahead and get that side quest okay and there we go you know, guys, we've been like buzzing through Safari, so this has been a good, good few weeks. Yeah, we've actually been moving along quite at a good pace. Now, the next world after Safari is Avalon, and Avalon is a big favorite for many, many wizards out there. So I cannot wait to go through Avalon with you guys and to experience that whole world. Ugh, I still have to get one more. Okay, one more fight. We only got two of the three that we needed. I think they did that on purpose, don't you? Yeah, I think they did that on purpose. Okay, so if everything shows up right, oh, check it out, check it out. Well, let's just go ahead and put some spells up and let's keep this ball rolling, guys. There's one, ha ha ho, ha ha ha. Ha ha ho. He's throwing up the ske the skeleton at me. Hi, uh, my lord, my lord, are. I need to look up and see what he actually says. You know, it's really piratey, 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 piratey. Hey, nice. okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, what do you guys think about the drum jungle? I really like the tree houses and everything. I I think. Let me think. See, they've done a lot of jungles here in the game. Um, some of them in forests and stuff. And I think this is like the first one where it's tree houses. I think it's the only one where it's tree houses, actually. Yeah, I think all the other jungles we get to go through here in, um, not necessarily just in Safaria, but here in Wizard, in, in, in the entire Spiral. Um, this is like one of the, one, I think the only one where we have tree houses, actually. In that wild, I figured we'd have more, more jungles with tree houses, but this is the only one I can think of that has tree houses. I could be wrong about that, guys. If I'm wrong about that, please go ahead and put me in comments. But I think the other jungles we go to, like for instance, when we get to Azteca, which is like jungle, jungle rich. Um, actually, nope. The um, I, I, the Alto Alto Forest. Yeah, the Alto Alto Forest does have tree houses as well. Aha. So it's not the only one, but I think it is the first that they did with those. Okay, let's go talk to Coco so that we can go ahead and get this thing working, get this new spell so I can show it off to you so you guys can see the value of this new spell. Okay, Coco. Ah, good. You recovered them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you punished them for the damage they did. Luckily, we can repair this. Okay, let's do it. Take the pieces down to the Sun Obelisk, put them in place and say this chant. In Kanyezi Nesazi. It will restore oh, very the good. to its full glory. Okay, guys, let's head down there and let's see if we can go ahead and get this obelisk to its full glory. I'm excited because this is a good spell. So I guess this episode kind of devolved a little bit, but I, that doesn't scare me, guys. You know, we went ahead and got a brand new uh, minion, which I've never had a chance to get before. And now we're going to get a brand new star spell. The sun obelisk. Check it out, it's working. And begins to glow with a brilliant And look at it, guys. Colossal. Fantastic. So this is actually 50 more damage. So let's go ahead and train this guy. Very, very good. I don't I don't use the other ones, honestly. And so let's go ahead and take out these two. And now 
we are hitting harder, guys. So our spells now hit much harder than they did. But unfortunately, I've got to be honest, guys. This is all the time I have for today. You know, let's go ahead and take a picture of the obelisk, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. And I hope you guys have a great week. This is Kieran Trollcaller for the Myth myth walkthrough i hope you guys have a good week don't forget guys if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and hit that like button and don't